Puddles by Jonathan London. Pictures by G. Brian Karras. All night, the slash of rain and the flash of lightning and the kaboom of thunder rattling the house and all the windows. We cuddled between fright and glee and wanted to stop and never stop. In the morning it does, like a curtain rising on a shiny new day, a day of brightness and blue, a sky wiped clean of the last cloud. We walk outside to the sweet chatter of birds filling the trees and breathe deep the clear air. Watch out for puddles, Mama hollers. Don't get wet. Needles glisten. Listen, the. From the eaves and the leaves. Look, the sparkle of a million suns in a million drops. We follow baby rivers, trickling and sneaking down into fields. Puddles! Big ones, little ones, long ones, skinny ones, pieces of sky on the ground. It's time to puddle jump! Mud sucks at our boots. We kneel and watch worms squirm and stretch and leave tiny trails in the muck like sloppy writing. They're learning the ABCs of weather, of rain, and sun and mud. Then we slog down through the wet grass towards the pond and what lives there, celebrating all the new water and new life. At the pond, it's time for the frogs to play, and we want to play with them. Leap, frog, leap. Leap, frog, leap. Hop, flop, plop. Birds flap from the trees, and we think the trees are applauding. We bow, then say, bye, frogs, and turn towards home. Puddles! Big ones. Little ones long ones, skinny ones, pieces of sky on the ground. It's time to puddle jump again. We can hit every puddle from the pond to the meadow. We slog through wet grass and suck mud with our boots. Skip beneath leaves and eaves. And drip in the doorway, shouting, We're home! You're wet, Mama Howells. On a morning after rain, it's time to soak in a hot bath. Wiggle dry in a warm towel. Get dressed and drink hot chocolate. Then run outside again. To puddle jump.